Okay, so I know the other tutorial I made for the other thing on Scratch Supper Blurry, so I'm making a remake. So anyway, we're gonna get the pretty, whoops, I'm not gonna decapitate you, boy. So we're gonna take this pretty cat, and then we're gonna take, when this sprite clicked, we're gonna go here. And so you could do this, you could do this. So go to here, search costume to costume 2, you could wait 0 0.1 seconds, depends on how long you want it to, and then change it back to 1, and so it will look like this. And then, you could go here and click on make a variable, and you're going to name it N pretty cats and then it's gonna come up here and uh, you could change the different kinds i recommend using um uh not slider because it's useless so next you gotta change the variable by one put it in the front because then it'll be better and so we could change the uh, pretty cats by one. And so we're making our way back up the line. And so we're gonna change it to this. Okay, so next we're gonna do when start clicked set my variable to zero and pretty cats to zero and so when we click this we can reset it and then next we're going to make the clone so when this right click we don't need this anymore so then we do all the costume stuff then we got to make a clone of myself like that, create a clone of myself, and then drag this starter block. When I start as a clone, you want to go to a random area, and then when you will glide one second to random position, then we will delete the clone. So it, then we also go to looks, Set color effect by 25, and then you change it to ghost, go to 50, and then when you get this all done, it looks like this. And then you have all these little cats on the screen. And if the ghost effect's not enough, then just do this, and then... You'll have a lot of different cats. And so, next thing you want to do is add in something called a variable 2. Ha ha ha. Go here, click on paint, and then add something like extra, extra, um... Cats. Whoops, that's not enough. And so we're going to make one here. And I'm going to name it 0 0.1 CPS. So here we have how much it produces. 0 0.1 CPS. And then and we move it around. So then I want this right click. You can go to if and set a price. So in the original cookie clicker, a cursor was 15. So we'll change it to 14 because if it's bigger than 15, it'll be 16 and that's not it. So then you will take this, drag it here. So if our variable is bigger than 14, then we can change get one of the cursors so then 
If it's that, we could make a variable and name it cat. Let's call some more cats. Uh, so then, more cats, and then if when this more cats clicked, then change more cats by one, and then we're gonna do that. And then click on this again and do one cat per second. And then we have to change cats per second by 0 0.1 or all of the numbers you got. So then um, you have to do this, put it in a loop, change cats by 1. And then you have to do this, change CPS by one. You have to, ch and then wait one second, with, because it's seconds, and then change CPS by one. No, we want to change cats, pretty cats by one, except not one, so we're gonna drag this inside because we want to change it by cats per second and then else you could do something like record a really embarrassing sound okay we could choose a sound like this and then whoops yeah and then we could play that sound like that so if you don't have enough then this happens <laughs> And so it sounds really weird. And then, uh, next, once you have enough, then you could buy it, and then it'll start giving you more cats. And so, uh, next, you can make more buildings like this, and that's basically Cookie Clicker. You could also make some backdrops. Like that, you can make a green one, yellow one, and then put it here. And then you can name your project Cookie Clipper and stuff like that. Haha, <laughs> bye bye.